Hello, all of my gorgeous angels and devils. Today I am playing part two to just ignore them. So if you didn't see the last part, I will link it down below. Go check it out because you might be surprised what actually ends up happening in this cute looking little game. Also, if you are new here and you enjoy, definitely make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, hit that bell so you know the next time that I upload. And let's just walk up here. I wonder what's in that toolbox though. I'm kind of curious. I shouldn't have walked away from the car. Let's see. My toolbox. I'll take my screwdriver. Well, it's the only tool in here. I should really buy more tools. Okay, and I don't think I can go in any of there. Any of those. Then we have our check-in, which we're going to have to do before we can do anything else. More than likely. A vending machine? I can't do anything with it. Well, that's no fun. Okay. Let's talk to Old Bill. Well, howdy there. Welcome to Dayfield Motel. The name's Old Bill. How can I help you? I'm looking to spend the night. Do you have anything available? Well, I do have something. It ain't pretty, but it'll keep your head dry. <laughs> Thank you. Say, why do you call yourself Old Bill? For anyway, you don't look that old. Huh, <laughs> son, I'm barely 50. As a matter of fact, I just turned 49 the other day. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Nah, it's okay, son. I ain't ashamed of my age. Oh, one more thing. All the phones in the rooms work, but come see me if you need the out call number. If I need to make a call, I know who to see. Thank you. Booking log. It's the registry. I guess that's pretty much it over there. Can't get anything over here, so can't do anything. So we're just going to leave and go to the room. Which happens to be, well, let's see the radio. I guess we can't do. It's a radio. I doubt it'll work now since it's been in the rain. Need to see someone about a room first. Oh, I shouldn't disturb the other guests. I thought I got the room. Is the key? Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. I should get inside. Really? Well, isn't this the penthouse suite? Oh, look. They managed to remove almost all the stains from the bed. Let's take a nap. Well, I suppose there's nothing else to do until the rain stops. I just fell back onto the bed and gazed at the cracks in the ceiling. I thought I can finally have some time to myself. The more I gazed, the bigger the cracks would become. I had too much on my mind. I wonder if Mary was okay. She would be opening up the diner about now. If I ever return to a normal life, I'll ask her out on a date. Soon enough, I fell asleep. I felt cold very cold like when i walked into mom's room it's happening again i can't sleep i need to know if mary's safe i'll call the diner she should still be working but i need the out call number better go see the manager uh oh okay let's go see i don't know why he would be up this late i mean maybe a new person but why wouldn't he just give me the out call number huh where did he go maybe i should look around i wonder this must be the list of everyone in the motel. Um, huh? Only two people. Me and someone named Paris Eve. Such a fancy name. <laughs> okay, let's head on over here. Maybe he has the alcohol number on his computer. And it's password protected. Great. It says, if I forget password, find it on my birthday. Huh? Well, that's convenient. That's strange. It looks like someone has tried to enter the password. I better not tamper with it. Can't do anything with that. Go to the key rack. There's a strange looking key here. It says, Bill's Happy Place. This guy has some issues. <laughs> oh my. Oh, I thought that stopped. Okay. Um, is there nothing else to do? Well, I guess I'm going because there's nothing in here that I can find. Can't do anything with that. Maybe I should go through the vents again. I don't know. We have a, we have a screwdriver. Oh wait, we have Bill's key. Well, where is Bill's key? I don't know why. Well, we have a key. Mind your own business. Maybe I should look in here. The sliding door. Wait, there's a note. It's a note. Dear guest, please do not try to open the glass sliding door to the balcony. The lock has been broken for some time and forcing it will dislodge the door. Enjoy your stay. Can't do anything with that. Nothing with that. Can we go out? No. Nope. What in the world do I do then? I can apparently go over here. How would I know that? <laughs> okay, let's head on over. There's just some windows. There's something on that grill. 
Maybe another key. No, look, there's wet coal. Okay, so we, after all, I didn't bring any to, okay, so we grabbed some coal and I'm guessing, yep, huh? This must be Bill's happy place. <laughs> wow, I can feel the happiness already. Okay, I don't need that. A poster, I can't do anything with it. Oh, another note. Please do not touch the power box to the right. I have modified the cables to charge my truck's battery. Lawnmower, I should possibly use the blades to see the lawnmower could come in handy scaring off the critters at night. I could probably actually open this up. Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, television, can't do anything, can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. A washing machine, won't let me do anything at all. Let's see what's in the workbench. Hey, an oil can. I could use some on the bed in my room. It squeaks too much. Why can't I? Let's give this a try. The hole's too big to insert the blade. Lucky there was no one around to hear me say that. Well, I don't want this anymore. That's why I thought maybe this, but I guess not. Hope this works. Okay, we did something. Look at all those wires that I'm not going to touch. Hey, jumper cables. But why would Bill fuse these to the power box? Guess that's all we're gonna do now. Um, oh, is there more over here? I thought I said I could go over, but I guess I can't. So let's head back and then maybe he's finally back? I don't know. I don't know where he is. Okay, use that. I thought that's what you wanted. Well, then I don't know what you want. Well, okay, then let's head on back out, I guess. Let's see if anyone's in here. No one. Maybe his birthday, but it doesn't even let me put in a birthday. Cause I was thinking maybe he has like something that says his birthday in his happy place, in Bill's happy place. But I have no idea. So do I need the key probably to get it? <laughs> Seems like it. Okay, this possibly, I don't know. Okay, now I have an oiled up mower blade. This seems safe, don't it? Maybe it'll work now. Okay, there we go. Like a glove. Oh my goodness. They're watching her. Holy shit. Is that the other guest that's staying here? I better take the tape. This old Bill's gonna get it. Wait. Is that? Oh shit. I need to warn her and fast. Oh my gosh, but how? That means I have to go back. Well, 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 look at what we have here. You're a sick person, Bill. I should report you to the police. Tsk, tsk. Now why would you do a thing like that for? You enjoyed the show just as much as I did. I have more than one people around here, son. I don't have time for this. She's in great danger, I need to warn her. Not my concern, son. What only bothers me is what's in your hand. The tape? Give it to me. No way, I'm calling the cops. Good luck with that, the dial out number. Well, we have to warn her, she's probably dead. Hurry up, go faster, run! I hope I'm not too late. Hey, open up, you're not safe! I can hear something, the door's locked, I can't get in. There's no time to find a key, I need to get in there now. I'm gonna break the lock with the mower blade. I don't need this anymore, here goes nothing. Oh thank god, she's a, uh... huh? I guess it's barge in and see my tits day. Oh my, I'm so sorry to intrude, but, but, well, hmm, look, this is going to sound stupid, but a monster almost ate you. You know, there are better pickup lines than that. Also, how exactly did you know that? Well, there's a peephole in your shower. Great, so tits and all then. And I was worried you wouldn't get to see anything. I was looking for the call-out number for my room's phone. I tried looking for the manager, but instead found a secret recording room. Yeah, and what proof do you have? Here's the videotape from the room with you on it. I'll take that, thanks. Hey listen, don't worry about it. If I knew you were about to be eaten by a monster, I'd bust your do door down too. Didn't think you'd believe me. Well, I've heard more convincing stories from guys to get in my pants. That's a skirt you're wearing. And that's a guilty face you're wearing. What's your name anyhow? It's Mark. I'm Paris, but everyone calls me Bria. Why Bria? Because I like the cheese, oh Brie maybe? I don't know. It was just the nickname I had in high school. Look, I'm sorry to intrude, I'll leave. You got a car? Huh? Uh, yeah? Great, you can give me a lift to the next city tomorrow. And you can let me stay in your room, seeing how you busted the lock on mine. Sure thing. Would you mind? Oh, sorry, I'll just wait outside. Okay, I guess 
then we just go back and we're not worried about getting the out call number, I guess. I don't know. I better see how she's doing. I just hope Brie will be safe in here. How'd she get the glass door to open? Again, I'm sorry about before. I honestly didn't mean for any of that to happen. It's okay, Mark. Really. I'm glad someone told me the truth. And when I find that bill, I'm gonna break his legs. And film it. Please don't break mine. I need them to walk. Huh, <laughs> you're funny, Mark. No, I won't break yours. Since you're cute, I'll let you get away with it. Uh, thanks, I guess. So, where are you from, Bree? You have a strange accent, and so do you. I'm not going all into details, but where I'm from, it's a place called England. Well, I'm not speaking in an English accent, but... So why are you here in the States? Let's just say holiday gone wrong. So why are you heading upstate for a holiday? More like trying to get away from home. Too many monsters back home, eh? You can say that again. Huh, you really believe in monsters, don't you? I wish I didn't. But it's hard not to when you see them. Mark, are you sure you're not on a medication? Oh, crack the crazy jokes now. Look, if I see one, I'll believe you. I hope you never do. Who are you going to call, by the way? Oh, just a friend. What's her name? Oh, Mary. And how do you know it was a girl? It's always about a girl. She works at a diner in my ho hometown. We can use my cell phone if you like. Just keep it short. Thanks, I will. Hello, this is Angie speaking. Hey, this is Mark. Oh, the guy in the brown coat. Yeah, that's me. Can I speak to Mary, please? Sorry, Mark, she's gone home already. Oh, that's okay. I'll try again tomorrow. So how'd it go? She wasn't there. Hey, Mark, do you love her? Yes. I'm not sure, really. I mean, I guess I do. I'll leave you to it, Mark. All right, so I am going to end this here, and we will be bringing Brie to the next city over in the next part. So if you guys enjoy, definitely make sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you aren't already, share this with your friends and family if you enjoyed, and I will talk to you all later.